Hello tree lovers, today we're going to take a look at the ash tree. First I'm going to show you a few features, then I'm going to give you three tree facts. Right, let's take a look at the leaf. Now this whole thing is actually the leaf. It's known as a pinnately compound leaf. Compound, because these leaflets share a common stem, and pinnate, because the leaflets are either side of that stem. Now, the leaflets are elliptical in shape, have a serrated edge, and there's usually seven to 13 of them, opposite each other, and then one at the end. Now, the flowers come out in spring, just before the leaves, on short panicles. Once they've been pollinated by the wind, they produce a fruit known as a samara, and these hang in bunches. They start off green and then turn brown later in the year. They're also known as ash keys. Right, your three tree facts are, one, the most important tree in Norse mythology is an ash tree called Yggdrasil, and the nine worlds of the cosmos exist around it. Two, any particular ash tree will usually produce all male flowers or all female flowers. However, a tree that produces all male flowers one year may then switch to producing all female flowers the following year, or vice versa. And three, unfortunately, ash trees suffer from a chronic fungal infection called ash dieback. And in the UK, we're likely to lose at least 70% of our trees to this disease, which is particularly sad because it's a habitat for up to a thousand different species of wildlife. Okay, till next time, take care. Mm -hmm.